everyone, it's Carol here at Oak House Journals. Big one welcome from me and I hope you're all enjoying your holiday season. I've got a little bit of a treat for you today. I thought I would share a journal with you that I received a wee while ago from my lovely friend Leanne who lives in Australia. Now if you watch my channel you will have heard me refer to Leanne from time to time. Leanne lives in Australia. We've never met but we're about to very very shortly. Um, I'm heading over to Australia in January and we have plans to meet up so I'm super <laughs> excited about that and I know Leanne is too. Um, Leanne and I became virtual crafting buddies through YouTube. We write to each other all the time. We share journals with each other, we share tags with each other and this was a gift that she sent me a wee while back and it's absolutely exquisite and I can't wait to share it with you. Um, you might ask why I'm sharing with it with you now when Leanne sent this to me a wee while back. Well, the simple reason was that the journal came in a Graphics 45 box and I thought the box didn't do justice but I wanted to keep the journal safe and treasured inside a box so I promised Leanne that when I um, had decorated the box then I would do the YouTube video and I finally finally had a couple of days here between Christmas and New Year to do exactly that so that's why I'm sharing this journal with you and I know you're not going to be disappointed. Now, when Leanne sent it to me, she sent it to me with full instructions here about how to open the journal. Um, she followed a tutorial that was given by a lovely lady called Anne on YouTube. Now, I'm so sorry, I don't know Anne's YouTube name. All I know was that she was on the design team for Graphics 45 for a long, long time and she did the most amazing work. Now, Leanne told me that she made this way back when, and that, those were her words, but she thought I would like it. It had my name written all over it, as she, she said. So I'm not going to carry on talking here. I've talked way too long. I'm just going to um, open the box and show you the journal. The first thing I'm going to mention, though, is this little portion on the front here, just, just this little bit, was a decorated paper bag that Leanne sent me along with this journal and I wanted to include it with the journal so Leanne I'm so sorry I did cut it down a little bit to make it fit on the front of the box as best I could and I've tried to keep the pockets so we have a little pocket here and there's one of the graphics 45 cards there there's another one here and there's a back pocket here and I've just folded this one so that it would fit nicely into the pocket. So I'll pop those to one side. I've got my instructions here because I might need to refer to those. And I'll just give you a quick flip of the box because Leanne won't have seen what this box looks like now. And I hope you approve, Leanne. And that's the back. There we go. Just very, very simple covering. And then if I open it up inside, there we go. Um, now, when the journal arrived, it came beautifully wrapped and padded with a really funny um, Christmas card. And Leanne put a note in here on some gorgeous vellum paper outlining all the differences between what we have here in the UK and what they have there over in Australia when it comes to Christmas time. And that was so, so funny. So I'm still treasuring that, Leanne. And I've got a ribbon wrapped around the journal. I'm going to lift it out because I use that ribbon to lift my journal in and out. So I'm going to pop this on one side. Let me undo the ribbon. Now, the instructions that Leanne gave me were that I need to make sure this lady is always uppermost and I need to open this in an anti-clockwise circle. So this is the first page or the cover. Let me just lift it up so that you can see what it looks like all the way around and she's made it out of black cardstock and then she's layered over the top this graphics 45 paper which is a Christmas Carol paper pad and I think she used the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 
Um, on the front here is this beautiful, beautiful die cut. And then this is all fussy cut and layered. It's absolutely exquisite. So the lady's bonnet is layered. The book is um, fussy cut, even her hands, this bow on the top and the flowers, everything. And it is a pocket. And that's the card that tucks in there. And I love how it just peeps behind this. This is all magnetized. So the first thing I have to do is lift it up like this. And we have this page and she has put a, I think that's a chipboard piece with one of the um, stamps from the paper pad on top. Beautiful. And look how she's matted and layered that. That's Write this paper underneath and then this postcard on top. Absolutely impeccable, it really is. And then this little word joy just swivels to one side. And then this, which is from, again, everything is from the um, A Christmas Carol 45 kit. This flips open. She's done a slit here and the tiniest of little brads at each end holding it in, in place. And so I have a journaling spot there. I could put um, a photograph here as well. So that closes like that. So I have to close this back down again. And listen, did you hear that? You can hear it's magnetised. The next layer I have to open to my left here like this and this is a tag from the paper pad this is a die cut and again this is another little um i think yeah that's a paper piece there and then she has got these christmas tree die cuts with these carol singers and then this is a little pocket with a journaling card in i mean isn't this exquisite everybody it really is I haven't looked at this for a wee while, but oh, it's such a treat to look at. It really is. And I'm struggling to get that in there because I'm not paying attention. Just trying to be very careful with it because I don't want to damage it in any way at all. So this closes up and then I need to lift it up this way. No, I need to lift it down. Sorry, I need to lift it down. And we have a fussy cut down here with a little card tucked in there we have some die cut notes in there and then this is matted and layered this frame is separate from the green and then the green is matted onto this beautiful red again and then we have a fussy cut here and that card could equally just tuck under there and look as gorgeous oh it's just wonderful Leanne you know how much I love this when I received it. Um, and you were absolutely right. My name is written all over this. This is absolutely right up my street. Oh, sorry, I'm off camera there for you. Um, so this one folded down. So I need to close it up again. And then I open it up uh, this way. And we come to this. And you've got this lamp post here or street light, which is a chipboard piece. We have a pocket here with two little cards and this one has been layered onto some gorgeous pearlescent cream paper. So that one I'm going to tuck behind there and I just get a little twinkle of this pearlescence coming through. And then here we have one of the cards from the paper pad. This isn't matted and layered, it's just as is, but it's beautiful and then these lovely little dimensional snowflakes on the top so that closes up so that's the first round so now what i need to do is i need to lift it up you see i'm having to pay attention here we have this and all these layers are matted as you can see and they're just absolutely perfect i can't cut in a straight line but leanne has such a straight eye and then this is a little die cut here that is not completely glued down as you can see and then another one of those little snowflakes this gentleman here has been fussy cut and there is a, a tuck spot in here with this little card here celebration of the season or you can have it that way around cart postal I think I like it. 
the other way around which is exactly as Leanne had it because this fights with this image here but if you turn it over that way that is just perfect you pick up the same color tones and this lovely creamy color is the same as as this so this closes down it then opens out this way and this has been fussy cut a Christmas Carol and this has been layered and then on this page we have again another little fussy cut image and she's using him as a little belly band, belly band. and then this is glued down sorry I thought it moved um, we have a frame here that she's cut and then she's matted it onto this red um, dotty paper behind and then that just as I said slides in behind him um, which makes him like a little belly band so let's close that one up and then I have to pull down and I'm going to move that up and this is one of the tags which she's put on top of this postcard so there's a little tuck spot in there let me get one of the cards that I had earlier that's a little bit big that one and I think this one's the same size, so it's not going to fit. But you can see what I mean. It goes uh, it goes in there, or a, something smaller would go in there. And then there is a little stamp from the paper pad up there that she's fussy cut. And then here we have um, more of the same stamps, and she's made a little tuck spot for that. And this greetings here is another little label that she's fussy cut out. And then this is a little tag, as you can see, and that just slots up under there. And then that one just goes in this pocket here. Absolutely beautiful. So this goes back up and then it opens out this way. I have to pay attention to which way I've opened it previously. Um, we have this lovely page and look at all these lovely images on here. This is just a page that's been cut out and layered on. This lifts up. This is a fussy cut on here of a faux wax stamp and she's cut out this lantern as well. And then that lifts up. There's a little journaling card. Let me move this down. Little journaling card there. And then she's matted and layered these and these are all raised from this gold coloured paper behind and then it's matted onto this pearlescent cream and then the green and then onto the base page. I mean it's beautifully done Leanne, it really is. So that folds down like that. Close it up, whoops no, doing it the wrong way, it closes up that way. I have to keep this lady to the front. And then I have to, to lift up, there we go, and I get to this page and she's put a banner across the top there, some paper die cut notes there. This is a chipboard piece that she's put on there and this is the card that tucks behind it. Gently lift that up and then here more of those paper die cut notes and she's fussy cut out tiny tim and his dad to create a belly band and then that's the little journaling card that slips behind him and then this closes down so now i lift over to the left and we have this lovely paper here it's absolutely gorgeous graphic 45 do some amazing images don't they they really do and then i've got this bring us some figgy pudding which has all been fussy cut brad up here and as you can probably tell this will swivel to one side to reveal this for me to put maybe another journaling card or something like that in there or a photograph but you can hear that everything has been magnetized so that holds that in place so we fold that one across now we come down and we have this page so we've got another postcard from the paper pad we have another little fussy cut stamp up there we have this label here which is fussy cut and then she's mounted it on top of a chipboard frame so it looks like a uh, street sign or a shop sign and then this lovely lady here 
and this is the image that's on the front so you can see she's not layered up this at all so that's what it originally looked like and um, where are we if I flip this over that's what it looks like now it's amazing Leanne you've done incredible work on this and then if I open that this is magnetized it's a magnetized little flap in there like that so that closes up like that and I think no I think it opens one more time yep let me just check that it does so that folds down yep it opens one more time and this is the final page and look at this so she's fussy cut out this gorgeous rose and holly and berries this is has been punched out or fussy cut this Merry Christmas and then she's done this frame all the way round, which is absolutely exquisite matted it up onto this colored paper absolutely beautiful and then on this side the roses and hollies and uh, berries all matching we've got a gate die cut along the bottom here or a fence die cut I should say and then this piece of uh, a journaling card but oh my goodness how lovely is this it really is and it's such a treat to get it out again because as I said I haven't had this out for a wee while and that is the back cover so once you get to grips with opening this up it is relatively easy but I have to say when I first received it I was baffled and I certainly couldn't have done it without Leanne's instructions so I'm just going to straighten that up like that and pop my ribbon around it and put it safely away into its box but I will do some photographs of the pages at the end for you all to have a have a look at everybody I hope you enjoyed seeing this and um, it was lovely to be able to get it out again and share it with you so thank you so much everybody for watching and I will see you again soon bye bye now